I have to go now. Okay. <laughs> Hey, it's for Chelsea at the movies! Yay! Yeah! Hey guys, we went and saw the movie Cold Pursuit starring Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson lives somewhere really cold and with his wife and son. I think it's Colorado, right? Kehoe. Kehoe. You know, like, at um, the, at I guess it was Colorado because... At first it seemed it was so like ridiculous that it seemed like Alaska. But then I'm like, how are they driving or the from North Denver? Pole. <laughs> yeah. But then later on the movie they're coming from Denver. So yeah, it's definitely Colorado. in Colorado. Who knew they needed somebody just to, like, continuously really there? remove, like, 10-foot-tall, like, snow for people to drive through. Anywho, um, Liam Neeson lives in this place, in this little, like, log cabin with his wife. He has a son who uh, works at the Denver airport. Something happens, um, and his son is murdered by a heroin overdose. So, and they don't realize that Liam Neeson's character has a special set of <laughs> skills. Actually, Liam Neeson doesn't really know that he has a special set of skills, but it turns out he totally does. And Liam Neeson's character um, is going to, you know, deal with this. Revenge. And, and uh, yeah, revenge is the, the name of the movie. It's a revenge genre movie. So, that's the movie, the synopsis. It looked interesting. We like Liam Neeson. So, it kind of got high reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. So, we went and saw it. Okay. Go, wait, or skip. I'm going to say, I'm going to say go see this movie. I debated a lot back and forth about this. Here's what I'll say about this movie. It's only for fun. The genre of movie is like revenge movie, which um, I personally think is silly. Like, if somebody, something tragic happens to you in your life, don't go on a killing spree. That's not like the highest form right. of... Right. But at the same time, I enjoy these types of movies. I like that movie Peppermint. I think it's <laughs> cute. But I like that movie. I like The Punisher. This is kind of like that, except it's quirky. There's some dark humor. It kind of reminds me of uh, Fargo a little bit, if you remember that old show. Mm. Or, is that a movie? Maybe. That movie. Maybe. I think yeah, they also a show. Made a show. We haven't seen the series. So, I liked it. I enjoyed it. Go see it. <laughs> I'm going to go say wait on this movie. I think it was really well made. I also enjoyed it. Uh, I thought the way it was written was really interesting. It kind of reminded me of another movie I saw, although very different from... The assassination of, by the coward Robert Ford. Whatever, it has a super The assassination long title. of Jesse James by the coward Robert there Ford. There you go. Um, in the way that it was made. So it had these title screens that would show up in between, and I thought that was really interesting. Overall, like, I can't say it was like a good movie because it wasn't edifying. Revenge isn't a message that I try to put out into the world, like, you need to go do this. So. In that way, it was a little bit violent. I did shut my eyes during yeah. some of the violent yeah. scenes, so I don't know how violent they were. But um, uh, <laughs> so I'm just like, you know, I'm not gonna just tell you. Like, you can just wait on this movie. Spoilers. Yeah, he 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 gets them. <laughs> I mean, like, it's not as straightforward as that, but he totally gets everybody. And what what I liked about this movie is it did. Like, it was funny, and, like, it had, like, title screens of, like, when somebody died. It Every time name. somebody died, it went to a black and white title screen. Which kind of lightened And the had, death. like, either a cross, or the Star of David. So it was stylized. Or, like, an eagle for Indians. Right. It wasn't just um, straight death and violence. It was kind of stylized in a way. Yeah. That made it, like, okay. What I really wait. liked about this movie was, like, okay, so, yeah, you had this uh, father. It was kind of, like, taking, like, this revenge, right, the story of revenge, and then putting it just in regular life. So, like, for example, his wife, after the death of their son, she's kind of frustrated with the whole... She feels like they never knew their son, and she leaves him. Kind of abruptly, she leaves a note on the bed, and when he opens it, it's blank. <laughs> like, there's nothing on the note. Um, and then that's never revisited. He, like, finds out at the end that his son, husband... I mean, his son didn't die of a... He wasn't a junkie, that he was murdered instead... But it's not like we ever get a call to the wife, be like, hey, guess what, all this stuff. Like, you don't get any of that. It just kind of happens. Like, he's the the husband and father that rarely speaks to anybody. And then he just keeps that up the whole movie. Yeah. There is no, like, really arc to the movie. Like, the character is kind of just what he is the whole movie. And everybody in the movie was kind of like that. Whoever the movie maker was, they did not come out and be like, Here's what I want to, like, give the world and show you. It's like, no, these are just people, and none of them have changed from the beginning to the end of the movie. They remain the same exact people they are, which is kind of how life is sometimes. Like, we, it's sometimes. like we got just a, a snapshot of, like, I don't know, what was it? Like, let's say it was six months. 
into this time frame. Well, that is very like likely that people don't change in six months. That you don't get some dramatic, overarching like character change. Instead, everybody's just who they who they were. So I kind of liked that this part of of the movie that it was like that. And another thing that kind of is similar to what you're talking about is that this movie did depict realism in a way. In that in real life, there's not like linear stories in yeah. that A leads to B leads to C, etc. And in this movie it was like that. We get a story, but a lot of what happened in the story was just like accident or happenstance. Yeah. You know, it's like, it just like unexpected things yeah. happen when people make personal decisions that could be directly related to what's going on, but could just be seem random almost. Yeah. yeah. And how it affects the story in a broad way. And I think it yeah. did a really good job of depicting that. Part of the reason I liked it. I just enjoyed it. was entertainment. You know, I, I'm big into saying, like, it doesn't have to be edifying. But at the same time, I struggled with this movie because I was like, this is just, like, a bunch of people <laughs> murdering each other yeah. and, like, being and then, crazy. Like, but they did a really good job making it. Like, the score yeah. for the movie was really good. So at one point, like, he kills this guy with the nickname Santa, right, who's part of this drug-dealing, like, whatever group. And then when he's disposing of the guy like they play um the pretenders christmas song which is really happy and upbeat but yet there's something kind of gruesome going on and the whole movie was just like it it was good like well made in that way to be able to be that funny. creative and put it together it had funny parts yeah. to it um yeah just it i don't know it was a good movie it had a boy in the movie who was the son of the great. primary like yeah. leader of this drug I want to say cartel, but it's not a cartel. It's a drug. I don't know. What have you. He's um, a drug dealer. But, like, the boy is clearly extremely affected by the environment he's growing up in. <laughs> but he's also really smart. But the filmmaker also doesn't address that. Like, there is no, like, Liam Neeson's character has, like, some scenes with the boy where you might think they're bonding, which there was bonding going on. But then at the end, like, Liam Neeson just goes about his life. The cops, I assume, recover the child and give it to his mother. But, like, there's not, like, this heart, like, rending, like, thing. It's just, like, it's like you literally get a view in and that's it. It's just a view in. The filmmaker didn't may have a lot of commentary on yeah. what he thought the character should do or this is the right thing or that. It was just, like, a view in. So I, 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 I liked that, you yeah. know? Kind of like get tired of agendas and people's opinions, yeah. and that definitely would. Especially, there was no agenda in this movie. <laughs> especially when an agenda is presented as truth. I hate that particularly. I'm okay if you have an agenda, as long as it's presented as agenda. Yeah, not, it's like, just, this is just how it is. Right, and it's, but it was nice to have a break from that. Yeah. There was no agenda in this movie. It was at all. if there was an agenda, it was to like kind of show some realistic type. I mean, the characters were so, like, interesting and weird. Yeah. And that's kind of like, if you're honest about your life, I meet, like, weird people all the time. And I'm like, I don't understand this person. And it was like that in this movie where kept being presented with characters that were interesting but weird. Some of them were better than other ones. But they were all kind of just one big mishmash of weird. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I really enjoyed uh, watching the movie. I didn't think I would at first when it started. I was like, oh, I'm not going to like this movie. He's going to find. But no, it, it just kept getting better and better, yeah, I thought. Yeah. Even up to the very end. You know, the very end scene was just like... Well, they, they, like the very end, I was kind of like, uh, they're going to romanticize, like, the Native Americans. And then they did something that totally just, like, threw that out the window. And the ends on, like, a gruesome, kind of humorous note. And the movie's over. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, 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 yeah. so funny. It's all tied it up in a nice, pretty little bow. Yeah. You know what else is a pretty little bow? When you like, comment, subscribe, and sure... We're so boring that our dog is clearly in the background <laughs> snoring right now. You can't hear that out there. Well, we'll see. <laughs> I looked back there a lot because I was like, what's she doing? Yeah. She was snoring, but you don't have to snore. because You can like, comment, comment, and subscribe. And you can even do more because it rhymes. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. Okay. Because you, you, you took it out of my brain. You ate. You ate. Well,